Hey folks, we'll get started in one minute. All right. Hi, friends. Hello, Lance. Hi. All right. Thomas got a bit of a cold. No worries. Glad to have you anyways. And all right. So I posted the link for our meeting today. Uh, and let me share. Okay, let's see here. All right, welcome to the uh, Didcom, uh, Aries Didcom V2 uh, working group for February 27th, 2023. Um, please abide by the Hyperledger antitrust policy and Hyperledger code of conduct. And uh, I'll post the link one more time. I think everybody was here when I posted it, but oh, I've lost my my chat now that I'm presenting. There we go. Uh, I already we already had the same folks from last week, so I think you're all filled in there. And we can do uh, a little bit of uh, Nessus Didcom follow up. Uh, that was a great demo last week, and well, anything else that we'd like to add, we could talk about the uh, comparison chart that the DWN folks have uh, posted regarding Carry and Didcom, AIP3, Aries Agent Test Harness, anything else that we want to add? Okay. No worries. And if you think of something, we'll add it as we go. Okay. Um, quick announcements. I don't have anything for Aries Agent Test Harness, nor for Asgar. Um, I don't have any so update. For, yeah, last go ahead. Question. The, hey. what, was the, what was the hybrid? <laughs> what was the... So what was the, the Asgar thing there? Oh. It's on the agenda, but I don't know what we're looking on Asuka. Um, It's not on the agenda necessarily. This is, uh, well, I guess we call it the announcements. So I, I, I mean for it to be the status section, um, you know, where we go through uh, for status things. I guess Aries Ascar uh, has been, oh, you know, connected um, for AFJ. Uh, and probably for Occupy too. I've forgotten now, but uh, I guess the point is, um, you know, there's cryptographic uh, support and storage support, uh, so it's somewhat related to Didcom. Um, okay, but okay, okay. yeah, we don't have to necessarily keep tracking that. Um, I can't remember when we put it on there. Yeah, uh, no, I, I asked because. Um... I've been working with the AFJ okay. the last week. So I, I used the Ascar as a, as a wallet. And also, I, yeah, Ariel also mentioned that he's working on the V2 based on Ascar. So, yeah, but I don't know if Ascar itself needs something specific or is the, the framework using Ascar to provide the V2 implementation. 
Yeah, I'm not aware of any did come v2 specific Ascar things, but uh, yeah, because um, the frameworks want to support did come v2 and they want to use uh, Ascar. There's some passing of keys uh, issue that I think uh, Alex and maybe the rest of us have talked about before. I'm a little fuzzy if anybody wants to uh, fill in. Okay. Yeah, anything for that? Yeah. Okay. My understanding of Ascar is there a key management service? Uh, so that's how. Yeah, key management and storage. Yeah, key, key management yeah. and storage. Yeah. Which some people consider literally the wallet. So some people would just say like Ascar wallet, right? I, I used to look at it as um, secure storage, but I guess if you're talking about storing things, <laughs> then um, yeah. Uh, so then people make distinctions between, let's say, an AFJ agent that uses Ascar versus, you know, something else. Yeah, that, that's because Ascar itself don't provide, don't, it does not provide the, the storage. You can plug in Postgres, SQLite, whatever you want, but provide all the functionalities to, to then use the, the storage uh, database or whatever you want to use there. <laughs> So would you consider that then the wallet? Uh, you know, I know that term is <laughs> super overloaded term, but uh, that's yeah. that's that's the way that I'm hearing it um, talked about in in Aries meetings. That <laughs> essentially that whatever that uh, yeah, I, I, they talk about Ascar as the wallet because it, you know an agent is something different, uh, and then. <laughs> the mobile app or whatever it might be is also something different. So, yeah, I think we're still working through kind of that discussion, but. Uh, okay. And then, uh, Roto, do you want to talk about your Aries uh, framework JavaScript stuff at all? Or, I mean, you had said that uh, Arial is, is thinking that uh, there will be Didcom V2 in AFJ. By yeah, but it wasn't like a, yeah, it was like a gossip. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't okay. know what is the yeah. actual on that. <laughs> I sh just used my first uh, hands on the AFJ with the Anon quits. So just the, the little ones to start understanding the framework. Okay. Only that. Well, I'm sure with, uh, especially if you're starting to get involved in AFJ, I'm sure you you and Ariel, your powers combined, some uh, did come V2 could certainly happen. And it wouldn't be nice to show at IW, yeah, an AFJ based agent. Yeah. yeah, maybe with the Roots Wallet UI and I'm sure Ariel's gonna show with his uh, UI as well, his uh, chat. That would be really cool to show some interop there. Yeah, it would okay. be nice. Okay, good. Uh, how about Picos? Any uh, updates there? Um, no news this week. I'll be meeting with Phil and this and his students uh, tomorrow. Great. I'll have for next time. Cool. And Phil has a book. I don't know if it's quite released yet or about to release, but I think he's yep. doing uh, a tour now of uh, podcasts and whatnot. I saw an SSI Orbit podcast, I think, with him, which I started to listen to, but haven't made it through yet. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I went on Amazon and read through the, the part of his book that's available there, the first few chapters. Great. All right, good stuff. Uh, let's see. Nothing on the framework that I've seen. Varamo, how about anything, Alex? Do you know? Uh, yeah, so I was able to create like a did peer uh, plugin for their did resolvers. Uh, so I'm able to create did peers. Uh, I'm still trying to resolve them <laughs> properly. So once I get the, the peer resolver, uh, have the the did document a flashback. Um, but yeah, that's the only update I have there. Great. Oh. I'm trying to edit. <laughs> I'm trying to edit the document without it, uh, having it in edit mode. Ah, oh, it's Monday, you know. Uh, okay, so the, yeah, that's great. So did peer support. Uh, so that was this here using Brian's uh, did peer impl, but adapting it as a plugin. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I saw they started to respond uh, on that to give some guidance, but that seems like that's moving forward. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, PR submitted and in review, I guess. Okay, great. Um, okay, let's see. I don't know of anything for mobile. Nothing for that. Anything, uh, have we seen anything on the uh, av aviary tech side? I haven't seen any anything lately. Yeah, no movement there. Uh okay. Cool. Uh, how about carry working group stuff? Uh, Rodolfo had done his um, demonstration, I think. Ah, the a last AFJ meeting, wasn't that when you demoed as well? Roto for the uh, the carry did and uh, peer did comparison. Um, I think that was on the um, on the Aries call. Right. Uh, well, yeah. was that the Aries working group or AFJ? Aries Aries working group. Oh, yes. Aries working group. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That 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 um ended up being more than I thought it would be in terms of significance. Um. Yeah, I think that the the final that there wasn't a final conclusion, but uh, uh, Stephen, uh, I think, called to make like a, a spreadsheet with all the pros and cons on different formats. So we're talking about deep peer one, deep peer two, the legacy peers, and deep carry, and see yeah, what's the pros and cons on each one. And then, yeah, analyze them and make a final conclusion on what is the recommended uh, DID. Some are shorter, some are longer. Some depends on other frame frameworks. So there's it's not going to be an easy or straightforward uh, decision, I think. And was it Algo two that you were comparing with DidPeer? I compare with Algo two. Yeah, but yeah. there's also okay. Algo one. Probably, yeah, I think Algo One is being used in AFJ, so that's why. And they had another, yeah, another features, I think. Hey, Rodo, how long do you think figuring this out is going to take, in your opinion? <laughs> I don't know. No, yeah, I think I think the compiler should be. Yeah, I need to spend some sure. time and doing that. Yeah, from my side, I gonna I gonna raise that to the carry working group, and and do something. Uh, sh shouldn't be that much. Okay, so yeah, that might take some time, but uh, I think it was an important conversation, and um, certainly there is some resistance to carry uh, instead of did peer, um, which is an interesting dynamic, um, just because, um, well, I guess there were there were several people who contributed to did peer, so. Um, you know, Daniel Hardman, who is advocating for a transition to uh, did carry, he's not the only voice. Uh, and so, yeah, there's um, there's certainly a sense of, well, there's already some support for did peer. So do we really need did carry? And that's, that's to be expected. Um, I do think that some things that I'd like to see um, is maybe some discussion about well certainly why why is this um simpler form of did carry that doesn't support key rotation if i misspeak uh, you know stop me but uh, as, from what i learned from from roto in that meeting is uh, yeah this version doesn't support key rotation and so that is interesting because that's kind of the one of the founding principles for carry that makes it so attractive. Um, and so is this is support for a non key rotation version 
like a, a nice stepping stone um, to to a to the broader did carry method that would support key rotation. Like, is that important to the community? Um, yeah. So, all all discussions that need to happen. I'm not quite sure how best to handle it, or if we need to, you know, talk too much about that here uh, as the didcom folks. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Anything else on that? No. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. To me. When picking technology sounds more like a politics game than uh, in this case than uh, than like an actual like technology problem. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, I would like for uh, like like you said like I would like the discussion to be more, geared more towards uh, like the differences like technically speaking, and then we can talk about like support and all that stuff. Uh, and I think like talking too much about like support and adoption now it's like already very early on, to where like I don't think we should just because like there are two libraries we should uh, make a decision just based on that now uh, but yeah those are like my thoughts uh, yeah. yeah fair and i'm i <laughs> i have no no strength in the political zone uh, at all uh, no no strategy no no mind for it uh, i'm with you i, I just want to see a spreadsheet and talk it through and uh, yeah weigh the pros and cons that way but uh yeah but I, I do think on the bright side you know a lot of the aries people well most of the aries people are very technically gifted so even if there is kind of uh, maybe uh, you know a political and and uh, struggle of sorts i do think that if if uh, strong cases are made that for a proper technical solution i feel like they would go the right way so that's encouraging. Yeah, Thomas, yeah, yeah. I, I see your hand. Yeah. Uh, so while working, so if, if you're working on um, on Jitcom V2, this is actually the very first roadblock that you're going to hit, right? So you have the yeah. core specification talking about out of band, and then you have the external uh, specification, which is only just, I think it's just one line. Uh, also talking of out of band invitation and it references the core specification and it stops there right so so there's no recommendation uh how to even make the first the very first contact to another uh did come be to agent so i would say you know whatever it's going to be and a simple solution does not preclude a more complex and and complete solution whatever it's going to be it's it, it ought to be there in in the spec or in an external spec at least at least something that uh, two parties can you know uh, look at and agree on and and make the first contact because as it stands now you know you would have proprietary solutions a different one for every single agent trying to do didcom v2 Well, if, if you use the out of van, you have the, the way of doing that initial contact, right? Is that true? Well, in the out of van, you send your, your DID to the other party. The other party send you a message with the DID so, with that, yeah, to that DID. How about, how about the, the endpoint for your wallet? The endpoint should be resolved on the DID that you send. That's the basic of the routine in DIDCOM. In the out of town, you receive the DID. So you resolve that DID. From the DID document, you get the endpoint and you send the message. So would that preclude uh, a did key because you can't resolve right. the key? Right, yeah. So did key is out? This key is out. OK, so it needs to be a, a did that, that can be resolved, and then, and then that's good enough. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That, that's, that was, I think, the discussion of, of, of deciding which DID method that supports uh, this service endpoint would, would work. Uh huh. Okay. As a replacement of the uh, DID key, right? DID key. Okay. 
Yeah, Thomas, when you did your demonstration, I, I, I did see that you used uh, DidKey and uh, I asked Roto and Alex about it because, um, well, I hadn't, I hadn't known that you could do that, uh, but they explained to me how you use the attachment for um, the did document, uh, which I thought was was cool. Uh, and um, it, I think that that would then, you know, through our discussions, if I understand right, then it, to do it that way would be like a new protocol. Um, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, yes, is, but the root. I'm sorry. But, if if that's no. the case, then it's easy enough to implement, and I can do this. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah I, I, and I figured I figured you would. Yeah. Yeah, because you I saw that you added uh, did peer support, um, but maybe for a different algo. Um, yeah, it's only it's only just uh, algo zero, so it's it's no different to. to it's okay, right? Yeah. But if, if you Thomas, if you wanna use the Sigma, Sigma has a peer. Did it, uh, did it peer library? Yeah, so I forked that have, already. Yeah. I looked. Yeah, I forked that already. And and also thinking about it, uh, the way the resolver works, you know, it's it's up to the agent, isn't it? So it. It could, it could even for, for a very simple scenario, it uh, the proprietary thing could be in the resolver, and it could, it could resolve that key right. In theory, but maybe it's a bit of a hack. But I'm just uh, talking out loud. Well, yeah, yeah, but you you need to to make both parties know how to to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah, good, good. Uh, so to kind of connect all those threads back together, we're saying that there needs to be, the, the hope is that AIP3 within ARIES provides the list of did methods that will enable didcom v2 communication as well as you know what other what other features uh, are needed out there uh, so you know we would expect things like did key to to also be on that list um but we're hoping also i think for yeah did methods like um like uh, did peer nomalgo 2 that uh carry the provide the did doc for a normal we'll call it a normal <laughs> uh ex establishment using an out of band uh invitation and then being able to resolve the service endpoint from from the did doc okay um anything else on that i mean it, it, you're you're right thomas that this is super important for <laughs> for uh, adoption of didcom but also just you know, i think the the interop profile in general is there anything else that we can do as a group do you think the maybe roto or or alex that we should be creating that spreadsheet or did somebody say that they're going to create it maybe somebody said steven was going to create it Well, Sorry. we can help for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Well, at least push and, and <laughs> push everybody to get that. There's yeah. a there's a message in the on the Discord on in the eighties Discord channel. Oh, okay. Stephen, yeah. Is, it, are they, is is uh, quite a bit of discussion, or was it just Stephen saying? No, that no. He would so start Stephen that? saying and Timo and me. Let me let me find it so I, we can paste the link. Okay. Oh, how I open the threads here. And I think, you know, by doing that from a didcom side, um, I think having that kind of comparison and, and documenting it 
Um, yeah, it just will help more people as they come into it, as they become DIDCOM V2 aware, it will help them to understand that initial mechanism. I still think that that's one of the biggest um, confusion points. And I, you know, I, I don't even, I, well, I, I definitely uh, would not say that I'm fully clear uh, on the comparisons of DIDCOM V1, DID Exchange, and uh, DIDCOM V2, other than the points that we've already talked about. Um, but yeah, I just think that that's going to be a repeated, uh, difficulty, you know, for, uh, yeah, people who are becoming DIDCOM V2 aware and want to adopt it and understand, you know, how this works. So anyways, uh, I, I paste the, the link there. Oh, hold on. Let me, uh. I wanted that to open in my. Yeah, I don't know why. Based <laughs> on mine, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's see. How do I? No, well, I was hoping it would maybe resolve it, like in my Discord app. If you open the Discord, eighties threads, <laughs> you're gonna find it. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, all right. That's good. Um, thanks for providing the link. I'll. Uh, well, I should be able to. Let's see here. Maybe. Okay. Open app. Oh, there we go. All I had to do was let the the web resolve it and then click open app. All right. So yes. Um. We are not seeing your Discord, right? We're seeing. No, the... no, you're not. I'm just going through yeah, it real quick. Yeah. Okay, so basically, Stephen Curran says yes. We have candidates for um, dids, did peer uh, one, did peer two, did carry, did legacy peer. Roto, do we have a better name yet for did carry light? Since I, I, I mean, that distinction is really important. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Do we want to call it maybe? No, no, no. I think they're going to be called did carry. Yeah, I think it's going to be called did carry. Yeah. Oh, well, but did carry is going to be, have key rotation and things like that, right? If you, if the did carry you are talking about has that. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh. But what we were discussing at the Aries Working Group was the did carry without uh, key rotation. Yeah, yeah. But the, the method itself did carry. Yeah. It's going to provide like a AID right at the end. So the AID can be, can have, can be rotations. I can maybe non transferable as well the one that has no rotation, right? So for DDCOM, we are going to use uh, AID that it has no rotation. But the method will still be the same, the lead carry and the AID. That's okay. What I'm saying. Okay. I think I understand. But does that mean that there's like a like an algo uh, difference? You know, you, in, in all the methods, you, because you, you know how, how I did on the on the demo. We provide the inception event initially, right? As a as a query parameter. So yeah. in the inception event, you you check you know that it's not it's not gonna be a key rotation by looking at the inception event. You know what type of AID is. Okay. Because gotcha. there's no next key, so if there's no next key, there's no way to rotate. Yeah, fair enough. Just to restate that, you're saying the inception event, yeah, it doesn't have the pre-rotation key, and so yeah, right away you know that that this is it. <laughs> right. That's just okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that that makes it clearer for me. Um, okay. So then you don't you don't kind of have to distinguish with an actual like uh, well I don't know what to call it a prefix part of the part of the prefix or or is that actually part of the uh, method specific identifier 
I don't know, but anyways, we we, we don't have to give num algos to for people to know what what they're what they're dealing with. They they'll discover that. Yeah, and oh. Alex asking how we pass the inception event. That's what I did in the in the demo is we pass a, the DID URL with a query parameter and the query parameter is the inception event. In, in, if, you, if you go to the spec on the PRDID, numalgo one, you're gonna find something similar. I think it's called initial state. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess like what I was wondering is like, can we change, uh, right? Like right now, like we're passing it that the next rotate, the next keys are no, can we change that eventually to create, like you said, like not like transferable IDs? Because if you can pass anything to the inception event, you can just pass whatever keys are next, right? Right now, but now if you do that, you need to provide a, a Ubi or something extra to, to resolve the full key event. And that's that's gonna be, so the same DID method, but mm -hmm. because you have another functionality, the query parameters are gonna be different. You instead providing the inception event, you actually gonna pass uh, an Ubi, right? Or a watcher, so you can get right. everything from that. I see, so instead of like Namal goes in peers, we have queries, uh like the query parameters uh, in the did url that we pass in to distinguish the different types of uh, the ids okay that makes sense so will that be an even longer identifier then do you think roto for those yeah the identifier is going to be only short the identifier is going to be only short but the did url is going to be longer because you may have another parameters but yeah. then you can get rid of, get rid of the the parameters and use the the identifier, the short identifier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing how complex. Uh, well, maybe I'm. It, maybe it seems complex to me, but it's. Uh, yeah, it, it yeah. is. If you put all all the options, it's gonna it's going complex. But that's why the carry light. Uh, yeah, terminology is just go go with the non-transferable. Use that short one definition and don't talk about them. The transfer only one, the the, the 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 ones that can be rotated. I start with that and then move. <laughs> yeah, the ladder up. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, I don't see a spreadsheet. Um, basically, Sam said. Up, oh, sorry, Stephen says verifying. Uh. I'm uh, just trying to glean if there's anything else we should discuss. Uh, okay. Uh, it would be, from a technical perspective, it'd be worth doing the following. Verifying and documenting that the transformation can be made in each case from qualify, unqualified did and related did doc to new format. Uh, I think that maybe he's talking about the legacy here stuff for that create a spreadsheet of the properties that we get from each so that we have a comparison the size of the did the key rotation ease of transformation i'm glad they put the key rotation in there. future path multi-key support etc some will be subjective but i think we have them in one place it might be easier to see differences okay and they added roto and said He wants you to cover the verification for did key. Uh, yeah, so a lot of what's happening here is the legacy support, you know, has some bearing on this. Uh, yeah, well, and when maybe, I see maybe what Lance, what, what we can do is on the HackMD, Profile, or maybe we can do another document and provide the like the framework so we can fill in and help Stephen with those questions and Timo and. Okay. Yeah. So did they? Uh, so I don't see any links to any documents. Is that a hack MD that we need to start? No. Yeah. This. Yeah. There's okay. Nothing done. So There's nothing. Uh, okay. All right. Fair enough. All right, so um, do we want to do that here? Uh, you know, in our time, we have uh, about 20 more minutes. We can we can um, say this will be something that we'll start 
next week. Um, I mean, timing is important here, but I also don't want to absorb all of our time uh, on this, but I think we all agree it, it is pretty important for us. So thoughts, opinions, what I mean, I guess what I'm asking is, is there anything else that we need to cover before we start creating a hack MD for this? We could do any uh, Nessus updates or uh, let's see, ecosystem of, ah, yes, any uh, news about local agents that uh, or services that have been stood up? I don't think we have anything new there. Okay, well, let's do it. Is everybody, everybody okay with starting a HackMD for this? Let's see here. I don't know if I've ever started a hack MD. Oh. oh, well, we do have the Aries Interop Profile 3. Maybe we should put it there. Yeah, I think so, right? Isn't that what all this discussion is about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, here, I'll post uh, the link here. And I'll pull it down to our presentation window, <laughs> if I can. OK. So yeah, that's probably best for us to be getting back. Sorry, I stretched everything on everybody here. Uh, it looks best maybe here. OK, so. Um, Okay, so this is, we did talk a little bit about the did method here that we would support. So I think we're talking base requirements here. So let's, mod let's see, modify it with a split view. How does that look for everybody? Can you actually read it? Can make it a little, a little more. I can read okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As long as you can read it, I don't want to be. Uh, okay. So now let me find it. I think fee. Uh, no feature. Feature update. Uh, discover features. Sorry, just trying to find my spot here. Maybe there's an easy way to do this Then I know. Problem report. Where the heck is this thing? <laughs> um, also. Ah, OK. OK, wacky, that's here. Ah, OK. So um, I, yeah, we can, we can just put in another row uh, for now. Yeah. Uh, or, well, I guess we need a table that shows the pros and cons, so. Maybe it's best that I create a whole new one. Um, what is the, yeah, maybe just deciding what this looks like is important here. And we'll fill in, uh, okay, good. We'll fill in. some of the features that Stephen asked for in his uh, in his post. Okay, so he said size of did key rotation. So did method size. Uh, 
uh, rotation. Uh, ease of transformation. And then let's see if you have those. Okay, so let's try to fill something in here. We can add more uh, properties here in a second. All right, so if I just type uh, a method here, then let's say uh, did peer one, and then size of a did peer one, that's basically like a did key, right? So the size would be small. Did peer one, did peer zero is this? Uh, oh okay so did peer one is uh, the very oh yes it's the very complex one so this is going to be large right i don't i don't know if it's large or not so let's uh, <laughs> because i think it's short but then you have you have to put a query parameter i, I don't know about okay peer yeah one. we'll let somebody else fill that in yeah. okay fair enough i'll just uh tbd TBD rotation. I think that it supports rotation, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just uh, okay. Other, other maybe other column could be available framework or libraries. Libraries. Okay, so you're saying, yeah, libs. I don't know if that's uh, kind of like saying support, right? Uh, amount of support oh I've, I've screwed us up here uh, is that because i need to add this here uh, let's see one two three four five one two three four does that look one two three mm. I need one more and okay yeah there we go all right so then if I put a did yeah did carry here okay so size it's initially large as query parameters or something like that we want to say Then the size reduces. Uh, all, uh, yeah. On 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 the query, the, the size is short, except for the initial, yeah, for the initial yeah. handling of, of the URL. Okay. But the size is short. That's that's the advantage of that. Okay. So start with, um, you, uh, usually short, I guess. But initially, large. You need, you need to pass, yeah, the, the inception event in the. To pass the inception event. Okay. Would it be and helpful then... if you measure the size in bytes rather than doing like t shirt sizing? Sorry, what, what did you say, Alex? Yeah, would it be helpful to measure like the size of the of the did methods of the IDs in bytes rather than doing like t-shirt sizing? <laughs> if right oh, instead nice. of yeah. okay, uh, yeah, uh, need need bytes. I think I think uh, did carry is like uh, forty four. The identifier is forty four. Yeah, because then we can yeah, it's like okay, then we can maybe. Yeah, see like the different trade-offs, right? Because like with carry, like you have to have like a big payload at first and then it's small later. With number two, you always have to send the service endpoint, for example. Uh, so yeah, stuff like that can, I think can be easily measurable and you can just put it in there as well. Mm.
Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, certainly uh, I like um, providing specifics more. Yeah. The specific number of bytes. Um, okay. So rotation, we're going to say no rotation um, or, or we're saying uh, it depends on um it, it depends if it's transferable or non-transferable is what would you for, like me to that, put can you say, no for, for that case no, no rotation but in on the method maybe you can put in parentheses light and carry light <laughs> like say okay. this is not the form yeah okay so then we would have another row for carry <laughs> in the future yeah fair enough okay uh, one quick question. Why are we trying to figure out rotation? Aren't this uh, period is ephemeral by their nature? Uh, Steven had asked. Um... Yeah, but may maybe one, did it, did it peer one allows rotation? So if you had that feature, uh, it may be nice for the future. So in, we, can, we can say in this carry, we can say no rotation for light, but in the future we can use. Yeah. Does that make sense, Alex? Or you agree with that? Is that is that an okay strategy to start with? But for the, for, for did it come v uh, two? It's, it's uh, Alex says no need, right? Because you can rotate the. Yeah, like you can already do it. In yeah, yeah. Come. yeah. yeah and, right. Like you do, you do did come rotation, not did rotation. Yeah, yeah, right. For for the, for sure. the analysis of did it come v two, it's not did it. But I think for Stephen, maybe you want to see some other. Purposes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my intention is for this list to be for AIP three, so that's not necessarily just didcom v two specific use cases. But we yeah. could, if we want to keep it to base requirements for didcom v two. I mean, we can we can do that too. I, I, I'm flexible, but um, no, no, no. It was just uh, yeah. I was just kind of like wondering. Uh, uh yeah the rotation since these are like usually this is ephemeral uh so but yeah that makes sense okay. so just like compare it okay cool all right uh let's see ease of transformation what is he asking there when steven's saying to document ease of transformation is that the legacy? Do you think he's just yeah, thinking about legacy? He, he needs. I, I don't know what understand all, all the details, but I know they're trying also to solve the legacy peers. There's something on the on the frameworks for the in the connections. They use okay. like not not the DID. They use like this legacy that is just the ID, yeah. and they they trying to to find a way to to yeah to move to the, the correct DID and they may be using some transformation. So. Yeah, fair. Um... So I don't know the answer of the, of yeah. for that column. Yeah, but... yeah we don't have to uh, worry about that for now. And we can, the good thing is we'll be able to show this at the next uh, Aries working group meeting or or some meeting soon. And you know, ask people to fill it in. Okay. Good. Uh, all right, libs. What do we want to fill in for that? I guess is this where we're talking about language support, like libraries that support certain languages, or? Uh, uh yeah, here. I think Roto, you had it suggested that we have a libs column. So, yeah, yeah I just adding, okay, maybe legal in, in, for example, for key, we have plenty of libraries for DDPI. We have the Sigma, maybe others, and, and, and check that. And maybe for, for carry, I would say we only, right now, we only have Python. So, but okay. we may have JavaScript in maybe. That's carry pi specifically? Yeah. Okay. Um, but maybe others, uh, let's see, can I put, yeah, okay, um, 
Uh, do we know do the SICPA libraries? Well, we don't even know. Uh, maybe if their implementation has uh, did peer one, we know did peer two though, right? Well, the, the SICPA covers all of them. All of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, do we want to uh, add more fields uh, to, to provide more information? Uh, let's see, what else did he ask for? Let me just copy this, put this for now. Uh, okay, he had asked for future path. Hmm. I'll just put it in there since he asked for it. Uh, and multi-key support. Um, probably they want delegation then too, right? Feel free to to push back. <laughs> oh, this part. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. Anything else we want to fill in on this? If I'm pushing us. All right, good enough for now, just to uh, launch a conversation. We have five minutes, so. Yeah, it's Any yeah. Any Okay, anything else anyone wants to see on here that would be helpful, they think. Um, maybe a title, actually. Let's see, base requirements is for that level. Let's see if we can go another level. Uh, base did method support uh, with another. Okay. All right, cool. At least we have something to continue the conversation with. All right. Uh, we have about four more minutes. Anything else we want to cover, talk about? Things that you'd like to see for next week? Let me, can I put this in our sheet here? Oh. Okay, yeah, anything else? Uh, did I miss anything? Looking into Nomago, Alex says he's looking into Nomago 1. Seems very similar to a Kel from Kerry. Yes, I agree, Alex. That um, Yeah, the, the, there was a problem with Nomago 1 that based, you, you can, there's not clear definition of how you uh, resolve the same, maybe, I would say you, you can get different answers from the same identifier because the order of the I think there is not clear how the order of the key should should be on the document so something that is correct for one uh, implementation you can try to resolve on the second one and you're gonna fail that's I think there is a problem there got it yep, yep. Um, I was actually surprised that Nomalgo 1 is what was supported in FJ. I mean, I don't know the history of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I was under the impression that basically nobody uses, uh, zero, uh, did peer zero because it's did key. So just use did key. Uh, and then I didn't know anyone who's used Nomalgo 1 
from did peer, but then we find out AFJ has an implementation, which I don't know how often they use that. And then, uh, yeah, I guess- No, pro probably they want to start supporting did peer. So they, they implemented Numalgo zero, but it's really simple. It's just copy the did key and yeah. then go to implement Numal Numalgo one and they find that problem. And I don't know if they are, I think you already implemented Numalgo two as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess I don't love the naming schemes for did peer as well. I don't know the history on that, but uh, yeah, it would have seemed to me that it should have been that zero should be zero as did key and one should have been what is two because it's simpler, right? But instead it's kind of like the, uh, minimal yeah, the, the story and then is like, maximal uh, and then some middle ground. <laughs> yeah, I think that Daniel Harmat created the zero and one and then uh, some say okay but it should have something mm, different okay. or maybe easy for for development and they provide the two after that okay. <laughs> so yeah it's an addition to the spec yeah okay yeah all right well we're learning a ton this is good i'm glad that they're discussing it i think that does it for today any last uh, words okay yeah, great to have you guys. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.